Hello everyone, it's Gretchen here. So I did not realize my empties bag was so full until I took up my last soap and it just kept falling out. So I said, let me go ahead and make this video and let, you know, catch up on uh, what's going on and everything that's happening. So first off, my bag is a hefty one. And I'm trying to remember the last time I made this video I think it was right around Halloween. So we had Thanksgiving and Christmas and now we're into the new year of 2023. How's everyone New Year's? New year starting out. Uh, not bad here, you know, it's cold and um, I tend to stay in more, I'm sure like most people when it's cold out. So I did rather well with my melting. And let me tell you, I ordered Bath and Body Works SAS. I wanted some hot cocoa and cream. So I did order and to make that threshold so I could use a coupon because I think the candles were $12.75 each. I ordered three um, of the hot cocoa and cream and then I ordered a couple of soaps which put me over and I was fine. I think I, think I actually had like it was like six dollars over the it was a what 10 off 40 coupon or 10 right 10 off 40 something like that so anyways uh i get it in the mail just recently and i'm pulling them out and sniffing them and you know one's broke yeah i was going to like email them and i said nah i just put on like i ha have a pair my sister gave me a pair of those non-cutting gloves for like electricians wear them and I put them on and put it over some garbage bags and just peeled off the glass and then took a knife and jasoned it. Uh, and now it's in a baggie upstairs and I plan on using it for February. So that will be coming up. You'll see that. I thought I should tape that because it had some like good, some good ASMR vibes happening. But I didn't trust myself with, um, put, you know, pulling the glass off and et cetera. So anyways, that's done. I did that yesterday into my empties uh i'll probably be starting with like january and working back because the thanksgiving would be on the bottom i don't know if i showed this at the end of from like my january uh melting basket but it's a glazed caramel apples and it's a, a no name home uh right aid home and I don't know if this was gifted to me or if I bought it. Um, but, you know, I left it go sitting in my stash for a while. And I did burn it down. And But it was like a throw of a one, maybe a two if you put your nose over the, the flame. Um, but every time I lit, where's the other one? I lit, every time I lit it, like this one I lit too and it went for hours and hours and hours this would be a great one to use if you just like the ambiance of candlelight because it went forever and it had a great great clean burn so a no soot no soot I notice I'm kind of leaning towards Bath and Body Works right now versus like Yankee and that's not like me but let me just say this um when I buy a candle from Yankee and I haven't had a chance to smell it because now I don't live anywhere close to a Yankee store, that I don't like the smell of it. That sugar spun flurries, oh, there was nothing nice about it. And what was the other one? It was supposed to be like sugar. It did not smell like sugar. Not to me anyways. Anyways, uh, hand soap, this toasted vanilla chai, really nice light scent. I got several of these because look at that container. She is so cute. And then I got this on the SAS sale as well. I actually went in the store and I was trying to, again, uh, I got a coupon, Mark got a coupon. Was I gonna let it go to waste? No. So I used um, one in the store, one online, and I got this Perfect Christmas, which is just a nice pine cinnamon sugar marshmallow. And there's the burn. This I just finished it. 
and that lasts because I can't, it, you know, it gets so hot, I just can't put it out anymore. I can't hold the candle to put it out. So I put the lid on it for that last uh, extinguish. And it smells a little smoky, but all in all, not bad. You know, nice um, pine scent. And I had a couple more hand soaps. I'm not going through hand soaps any, like, anywhere near I did at the old house because I think, you know, we had so many people living underneath one roof and we all washed, well, most of us washed our hands. And so now it's, it's just whoever comes over and then I was trying to work through some soaps. So frosted cranberry, there's a little bit in there on the bottom. Um, but I was ready to change it out. It, I think I that cranberry I, I get every year. And uh, so it's it hasn't really changed, I don't think, that as far as like scent goes. And then autumn s'mores, that one's nice. And I was surprised because it's like apple, marshmallow, and spice. But it smells really good. And it's not really big on the apple. Um, it just has a nice decadent autumn fall reminiscent scent. So I have, a, I, think, I think I think I have a couple of those and they've come out past couple years with them, same scent. And then tis the season. Uh, this one is apple cinnamon clove, which you do get the apple on this, I think in the cinnamon, you know, cinnamon is such a, strong scent i actually have a candle and i think that was on my melting basket uh where i found the cinnamon and you know sometimes i love cinnamon and sometimes i'm just turned off by it bella has come to the potty she was snoozing i have a uh, radiator heat so i had the pipes to go from one floor to the next and the cats and it's not like some houses that have radiators the pipes will get super hot but I think because she changed out the gas it's, it's not that hot when you touch the pipes are nice and warm just like the radiator and like it's like a butt warmer and the cats lay their head up on the side of it and that's their thing right now they sleep on the radiator pipe but as long as they're not getting burnt I don't care and I haven't got burn on them as well. <clears throat> but our gas bill, boy, 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 I tell you, it was pretty high last month. It was three, 350. And doesn't that seem high? But then the old house was more energy efficient. And there we had the forced, was it forced heat, forced air? And they combined our electric and gas. Here our electric and gas is separate. So, there was Pico, and I think our highest we ever got in the winter time was probably like no higher than like 450, and that was a cold winter. Um, it is a little bit colder here, though. I will say that. But yeah, gas bill was pretty high, and kind of shocking as well. In the summertime, it's nothing. So a spice berry sangria. I started this with my Christmas in July, finished it off because. I wanted to make room in my little, I keep it like right there in that little cabinet. And I wanted to make room for some of my, you know, my regular candles. So I can't even remember what this smells like. Berry, it was a berry scent, pretty sure. Yeah, um, uh, it shows cranberries and apples in this. I don't know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't overwhelming, which is good. And it kind of, it smelled like a berry scent, which I could handle. And then, um, an ice cinnamon roll. God, what, what is that? I want to say like concentrated, but they call it something. Gentle gel. Hmm. Instead of the foaming. Okay. So I got these on SAS for like 75% off a couple years ago. So I grabbed like four of them. And it's cinnamon rolls, fresh orange, and sugar glaze. Now, let me tell you something about this soap. I have it in a holder, and it <laughs> I can make this very R-rated right now. But, so use your imagination. And when you push the pump, and you get your soap, but then there's like a string attached that kind of, you can't get a clean break when you pump it. So when i was 
moving this and then I was like cleaning underneath my holder, it was very gooey. And so like all those strings kind of made it very gooey. So it's a nice soap and it didn't dry out my hands, but there was like an after, an after, uh, whatever you want to call it. You know, you got to clean up. At least I had to. And then uh, uh, afternoon autumn picking. I like this one, but you know, I keep think I'm kind of over it. It's apple and, um, I mm, can't read that and cinnamon maybe you can read it on the camera I don't have my glasses on I've been trying to do more without my reading glasses because I notice if I wear them all day I um, get very dependent on them and I'm trying not to do that coconut white coconut caramel I only got one of these I don't even remember when I bought it but it was a nice, you know, their coconut mixed with like caramel or apple or um, brittle. I think I have a coconut brittle. Uh, you know, coconut's usually the overwhelming note and all that. And it's nice, but I'm not like, I don't want like a whole bunch of coconut can uh, stuff, you know. Like, it, I, I don't think I really buy coconut candles. I don't think so. Even though I do like the boozy candles. Like my margarita time from Yankee Candle, which I found. Oh my gosh, let me tell you what happened to me. So I've been rearranging and moving stuff still. And I'm still running into boxes, you know, that we packed up and I put up in a room. And I found like six margarita times. Yeah, they're those little small tumblers, but they are the original. And I was so excited. They still smell so good. So I might have to <clears throat> remember where, where, where did I stick those at? I'll put them somewhere. Um, I think in that, mm, that little underneath like the stair closet. And I have to remember those in the summer. I'll forget about them, but. Blackberry Cream Frosting by Bath and Body Works. This is the one where it illuminates through the cutouts of the candle. This one I just finished too. It is uh, Blackberry's Vanilla and bubbly Prosecco. You know, Prosecco is like a thing right now. We here in Bedford, the local Bella, let me get this right, Bella Terra, Terra Bella Vineyard place moved from a little wee place to a bigger now, and they're going to start serving food next month. I haven't been there, but when we were doing that ghost tour, we walked by and they were having a party and you had to come dressed as a witch. So it was really cute just to walk by and see everybody in there drunk and dressed like a witch. So I told Marcus, I said, we'll have to go try it out. They have truffle fries or they're going to have truffle fries. And um, I've had truffle fries before and they're really good. It's just like French fries with truffle oil sprinkled on them and, and um, like um Maybe like a Parmesan, dried Parmesan or Asiago cheese, uh, a Romano, maybe, uh, sprinkled on the top. So really good. So I'll have to try that out when, when they start serving food. So anyways, it just that Prosecco seems to be like the thing right now to go uh, buy and stuff. But I don't know. I don't drink very often at all. Once every couple years. But I do like the boozy candles cause, because they smell good. And this one was, uh, was uh, how can I describe it? It's very, it had a great throw on it. But like after a couple hours of burning it, I put it out again and dealt with it at another time. On the nice list, this was a mint blue. It's fresh mint apple, mint blue coloring. And it wasn't bad. It, it says apples, eucalyptus, winter lemon. I think it was more of an apple. I think that was the overwhelming one. Oh, that's how I got it. This I ordered last year. And the top was busted. Yeah. I don't have a good track record when I order with Bath & Body Works online. <laughs> now I think about it. Broken candles, broken tops. One of Yankee Candles, uh, Three Wicks. They did just have these on sale for $10. And I think I got this one last year. 
for 10 but I got it in the store because I remember looking at a, a table and I bought like five candles. It's an apple scent, right? Yeah, apple pumpkin. So we're probably getting into the fall. Boy, that, did that burn out on its I don't think so. I think I probably put that out. Um, sometimes I try to let them burn out on their own and then sometimes I get scared and I leave that that inch of wax they suggest to leave in there or the half inch whatever the instructions say burn down to and then extinguish okay this one hmm, uh, hmm, i think i got this at Target, and it smelled really good it was santa's workshop it had um one wick and it was like a um not a cherry, but uh, like a berry scent to it. But you can see there. Now, I did trim my wicks. I know that one looks a little long. But that was probably my last burn. I just didn't trim it back up. But it sooted pretty bad. And it started burning a little off to the side at first. And then it corrected itself. But I don't know. See, I'm one of those that have that short-term memory that just forgets things after a while. And see, I'll go to Target again someday and I'll smell the candles and be like, oh my gosh, this is the best one I've ever smelled. And then I get it and then I regret my purchase. But for right now, if I can remember, I didn't like that too much. I think this is my second one I got at Target. And I think the first one I might have had not the greatest experience with it. One of these days, I'll learn my lesson. Probably not, but... Uh, just sounds good saying it, right? So, tis the season. Apple, cinnamon, cedar wood. The three deer prancing in the air. Yeah, definitely the apple. You know, I got a lot of apple stuff. And I think I probably burned it. Yeah, I think, well, you know, I try to thin things up so I can burn two candles at once. But that's definitely the, I don't get much cinnamon in that. But the, the label, and I should try to clean that up and keep the, the jar because how cute is that jar? Gosh, there's a lot of work though. I've seen people do it. They what, boil it and then pick the wicks off and then clean and clean and clean the inside. I think you can remove the rubber ring with a knife. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that or not. But I would love to. I have a bunch of... Do I, have, I don't have any with me. You know, like those little ornament balls. It would be great for that or to put ribbon in. Imagine like those stacked up in your craft room with ribbon or buttons or little ornaments. So you could just grab a couple, or, you know, jars and craft. Then like, I don't know. Visually appealing, right? Along with this one. See, this one I want to clean out too. If I was going to do that, I would do it to a couple. I didn't notice there was like red on the label. But this is the perfect Christmas. So, yep, it's the same as this one. But this one has Jolly Old St. Nicholas on its label. And with Starburst. And it's so pretty, the colors. In the lid, little ornaments on the lid. What was on the other one? Just, oh, I stepped wrong on my arm last night. Oh, it's killing me to use it. Uh, there, that's the lid on that one. You ever do that? See, wrong on your arm. It's like right in my elbow. So I think I slept like this. Because I remember when I was going to sleep. I was one way and my pillow wasn't the right fluff. So I flipped my head and I do remember. Because I always start out cold when I go to bed. And then I get hot because I do this and I don't move and the cats get on me. And so, and I remember waking up in the middle of the night with my elbow hurting like that. So uh, now it really, well, now it's just like the after effect. I've been awake for a while. So anyways, the perfect Christmas. Again, it's just that balsam. Pine, cinnamon, well, no balsam, okay. Pine, cinnamon, sugar, toasted marshmallow. Gosh, that is such a pretty, pretty, pretty candle. 
Um, okay, I might have to. I'm going to sit it over here. See if I can get it cleaned out. I have a pan I bought at the auction, but it's not a double boiler. I had a double boiler, but I gave it to my sister when she wanted to make candles. She never gave it back. And what's crazy, I should have just bought them last week at the auction. He sold a big stack of pans for like a dollar. Maybe it was even a quarter. Pots, pots. They were aluminum pots. And I should have got them, but then it's like, I don't know if I would trust cooking food in it because I don't know what they used it for because I know I don't always use my pans for food. So I would have like kept a couple and then, I don't know, yard sale or donated the rest. I got my yard sale donation pal happening upstairs. Let me tell you, <laughs> I have got to get my life together. I've got to. I have just been, ever since I quit my job, I have been so lazy. So lazy. I don't know. Life struggles, right? Eh. I'll get around to it. So another the toasted vanilla chai. I have a good collection of hand soaps going there. I have one more hand soap. And it is spiced apricot cider. Surprisingly, I only got one of these. I might know I only got one. Maybe two. And I really liked it. It was um, apricots, the first note, sparkling cider, and toasted cinnamon sticks. And it was very pleasant. I, you know, you think apricot, you kind of think what, like peaches, maybe a peachy scent. Apricot's very distinguished though. Um, but you know, it definitely has like that apricot scent. And I liked it with the cider. I'll have to put that one on my radar to, to get again what if I ever see it pop back up. It might. I don't really, you know, look too hard. I just usually buy the soaps when they're on sale and I have a coupon and then I just stock up and buy a bunch. Hot cocoa and cream. And this is probably one of my favorite candles from Bath and Body Works. I just told you my story where I bought three of them and one was broken. And um it's that like milky chocolate scent maybe a hint of marshmallow is there marshmallow in it uh yeah milk chocolate steamed milk mini marshmallow so it's like that creamy chocolate it's not like yankee's chocolate layer cake where that's really a dark not a dark but it's more of a decadent chocolate this is more of a creamy chocolate and they used to now you guys remember this they used to have um Valentine's was a hot cocoa and cream, one of their candles. But then I looked this year, and all I saw for Valentine's was bubbly rose. And was it a strawberry? Correct me. Help me out there. And they didn't have any hot cocoa and cream. And I was going to buy some Valentine ones. But I didn't buy. I think I'm now they're spring stuff. Well, I'll get some Easter. And then after that, you know, I'll, I'll wait till summer. I'm not into floral at all. Uh... So, it was a nice burn. Three wick. Brown wax. Boy, I think I let that one go by itself. I can't tell. There's not much wax at the bottom. So, it might have been a self-extinguisher. Oh, with a Christmas tree lid. But now, I'll jump into Yankee Candle. One of my absolute favorites from Yankee Candle. And I think, what is Spice Pumpkin? Brown sugar, pumpkin, and a couple other scent notes put in there. They don't put it on the bottom. But this was um, the, one of the newer ones where you're supposed to just, what, set it on the lid. It elevates it so it's off your um, furniture. And did I ever tell you the story? My cousin, I gave her a witch's brew back in the day because Yankee Candle used to give out freebies when you went to their Halloween open house. And that year, it was... Um, the mini candle, one wick. Oh, I don't have any down here. The little wee ones. One wick that, um, it was in Witch's Brew. And I do not like patchouli scented candles. So I gave it to her. She set it on her bathroom sink and didn't put anything underneath it. I think to this day, there's still a big black mark where she didn't pay attention to it. It uh, went down to the bottom, burnt her sink, 
and left a mark like that brown, you know, like that brownish black. Uh, my dad smoked and he would, he had a bad habit when he got ready for work. He would light a cigarette and lay on the corner of the, the sink upstairs. And the, it, you know, the sink was dotted with, because he would be doing whatever and his cigarette would extinguish on the sink and then had a brown mark. So if you're, you're probably familiar with that. If you've ever been in an older home and you saw the marks on sinks, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Or on the back of toilets. Because that was another place I found, you know, he would put a cigarette down at. And there'd be like uh, ashes and butts. Anyway, Spice Pumpkin. One of my all-time favorites. And I even got sense of it just now talking to you. It is, I don't, it has to be a secret in there what they put in it but it smells so good too wick nice clean burn um i'm i just never have anything bad to say about this scent so i have plenty more plenty more backups of spice pumpkin okay this one looks sooty pecan pie bar i probably got this at tuesday morning or at um Ross or one of them because look at the tag. So it says nine. I think that's Tuesday morning. So it's a 2020 when I when I probably bought it and it's a 20 as well on the bottom to read their label Yankee Candles when you flip it over like that and you see that first two letters or numbers that's their year 20. So um. But it, at first, I, okay, so I'm, I, you gotta remember, I'm going back to fall now. At first, it threw really well, and then as it burned down more and more, it lost its, um, it was, it was like a pie, kind of like a, a creamy candy pie smell, and then it got worse and worse and started sooting, and that was my last burn. But still, when I smell the lid, I still get that, that creamy, candy smell you know on it so that's done I'm trying to work through a lot of my older wax because as I learned with this one you you know it's just like almost becomes a waste of money if you don't get to some of them in time uh, some sense like I have some older Yankees that still smell as fresh today as they did the day I bought them. Yeah, I don't know. Bath and Body Works retains pretty decent as well. Salted Caramel Eggnog. Okay, so when I got this out, this was another one that illuminates through the uh, label. I thought, well, when I smelled it on cold, it's like, mm -hmm, I don't know. It's, it smelled like a lot of caramel overwhelming you know if you're familiar with Bath and Body Works when they make a caramel candle it smells a lot like that and this one's caramel sea salt Dolce Dolce de Leche Dolce de Leche right okay um sweet whipped cream and it smelled fantastic oh my gosh I was in love I was in love so what do I do for December or no January I pull out a spicy eggnog it's still in my little cupboard there. But I haven't lit it yet. But if it smells anything like this. Now I know it's spicy. I know this is caramel. But I love that kind of sour eggnogish note. Um, yeah, like that sour milk. And uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed. Again, it doesn't smell great on cold. But when it. When, you know, when that one was warmer, it was wonderful. So, my last candle I have. Bag is empty. Snoopy never fails me. Uh, spiced apple toddy. Bath and Body Works. This one is cinnamon and clove. Oh, I've got a hair stuck on it. Yuck. Excuse me, hair. And apple brandy. I'm one of those people who just don't even go get, I don't even like getting my hair cut because I really don't like my hair touched that much. I, I don't know, weird, huh? Um, isn't that called like trichophobia or something like that? Trichophobia. Uh, it's not, I just don't enjoy it. I mean, 
nah, not my thing. Anyway, spiced apple toddy. It, again, the apple is the overwhelming note. And it actually is the last note, notes of apple brandy. Again, most of these they put out with um, the lid for the last burn. And it's kind of like a, um, mm, like a cosmetic apple. Like things you would find in bath bombs and soap and that kind of thing. It's maybe like the cinnamon in the apple. I don't know. It was okay. Not my favorite. But I had a great, great ending on it. Look, it's like perfectly clean in there. So that's always nice. And then the red jar is kind of cool. And with the white wax. So that was uh, my bag full of empties. Oh, my elbow is oh my gosh mm. it will get better throughout the day i've done that in i know you've probably done that yourself where you sleep on it wrong and then it hurts all day but then by nighttime it's like oh okay i don't feel no pain so what's going on we are going to a baby shower today samantha myself and chloe so this is chloe's friend uh Okay, so Chloe goes to daycare. She had a friend, Maisie, but Maisie's in a different school district. And when she's, she's a year older than Chloe. So when she started school, her mom pulled her from the daycare. And now she goes to her own school district. So she just brought her into this daycare because she works in town. So Chloe doesn't get to see Maisie often. She got to see her for a birthday party for Halloween. Um, And now her mom's getting ready to have a baby next month. So, for the baby shower. So, she's all excited. And when I gave the information to Maisie's grandmother, I said, oh, Samantha and, and Maisie would, or Samantha and Chloe would love to go, I'm sure, because Chloe just loves Maisie. Come here. Tinks. Um, rubbing on the pole. And so, somehow my name got on the invite, too. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, I mean, I'm... I, I'm always, come here, I'm always up for free food. So they're having like, you know, bring the diapers for diaper raffle, bring a book instead of a card. Although I got a little Project Life card I'm going to put in with their present just to say, so they know who it's from in case they get separated from the book. And so we got that today. Um, Chloe's all excited. She's coming over to take a bath in a little bit because she got a new outfit she wants to wear. Now, the kids only have a shower, and Chloe takes a shower, but she in, really enjoys taking baths because then she can play and act like she's swimming and, you know, all the things a four-year-old does in the bathtub. Right, Tinks? Tinks has been very lovey-dovey lately. She wants to be held. She wants me to walk around with her and let her uh, scrape on things and snip things. I think it's the... With it being cold out right now, I think they're bored and there's not much for them to do. They've been going down in the basement and hanging out. And again, just trying to get things, I'm trying to get things organized. Um, I need to get things listed on eBay. I want to start having live sales on my other channel. I even thought about having like an ephemeral sale here on this channel. Like selling, um, because you know, I have some... Mark's upstairs. Just make sure the kids weren't here. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, I I have some crafty ideas finally that I want to feature on this channel. Just not doing the candles, you know. I want to get that money. I am still not monetized. I lost it. I still haven't got it back. My hours are poop because I don't put out enough videos. So. I want to um, definitely work on that, crafting videos, still do my once a month candle picks, still do my empties just so I can catch up with everyone. So that's really kind of my uh, plan for uh, 2023. I wouldn't say, uh, it's not like a resolution, it's more like a goal. So um, my goal is to get my act together. Okay, yeah, I think I say that every time. Tink's playing. I don't know. I noticed my head follows sounds and just um, 
because I live in an old house, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes weird sounds happen, and it's like, where did that sound come from? And the floors, the, it is the, the weirdest thing. I'll be uh, upstairs in bed, and Bella, she's a, she's a little chunky girl. Even Tinks does it too, but the floorboards will creak, and it sounds like someone is walking up the steps or walking in the hallway, and it's just the cats, you know, because they walk like one paw in front of the other. And it just, the floors are creaky, and that's just that. And let me tell you something. Now, I think the cats are doing this. I don't have, I should put like a camera upstairs just to see what it is. Gosh, I'm talking a lot. My last story, I promise. So upstairs in my attic, there's these two doors that kind of go on a roller system. And I had marked some, the door was down when we bought the house. And it goes back over like in front of the house. So there's like a crawl space and then the carpet stops and then it turns into, it's just cold back there and it's just the, the rafters of the house. Anyways, I had Mark put the door back on so the doors opened. And twice, twice, I've had to put the doors back on. Yeah. Now they, now I think my guess is Bella's trying, Bella's picking at the door and it, it starts to um, sway it back and forth. And then it's getting caught on the carpet and then it's staying open. There's a gap. And it hasn't like fallen completely back off the roller system, but it's now separated. And I'll, twice now, I've went up there and said, ooh, I don't like that because, you know, I want it shut. And twice it's been open like that. So it has to be her has to be her like trying to get in back there to to whatever you know snurf what's going on back in the, the corner so yeah and besides that things are great you know i mean it's been is no problem living here just i pay attention to the noises but i think that's just too because the house is quieter now Anyways, I've been on here a very long time. I don't even think I'm even going to rewatch this. I'll probably just start the uploading process so I can get this done and load it up. But I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you later.